So football managers back again. Last time I did Derby versus Aston Villa. Link is up there if you want to watch that one. This time I'm going to do a Champions League edition. Tottenham versus Liverpool. But there's a little difference. Liverpool and Tottenham are only going to have the players that played in the last Champions League game. The starting eleven and the sub bench are the only players they are allowed to. That means there's no more Harry Kane. There's no more Firmino. All the other big players that didn't play are going to get released. Also, both teams are going to have their balances to zero. Both teams are going to go to the Vanarama League. First team to make it to the Premier League, in my book, will win the Champions League. After eight seasons, whoever's in the highest league, in the highest position, is my winner. If both teams reach the Premier League in the same season, then that to me means the Champions League will go to extra time and a penalty shootout. And whoever finishes higher, the next season in the Premier League will win. Also, if any team gets relegated, that's a straight loss. So, by having no money, it's going to be harder to sign new contracts. They will have to sell before they buy, which again will make it harder. This is my view or my prediction on who's going to win the Champions League. It was fun to do it last time. Before we jump to December, here's the Liverpool team. As you can see, that is it. Tottenham team. That is it. Everyone else is gone. So it'd be fun to see how this works out. So let's jump to December. So we're at the 31st of December, Tottenham are top, Liverpool are second. And just in case some of you don't know, first gets promoted, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh are in a playoff spot for the second promotion spot. Tottenham and Liverpool have to get promoted if one of them fails, then I'm guessing it's game over for the other. But Tottenham are top, but Liverpool have a game in hand. Who did Tottenham draw against? Hartlepool. Let's check top goal scorers. Top goal scorers is 15 and 13, Mane and Sturridge. Did they sell anyone? These first three transfers don't count. They were already Liverpool players. It's just the game's way of saying. So they brought an assistant manager. Henderson went to Man City. No, I think the price should be the other way around, but okay. So Liverpool lost two players, but they have gained 60 million. And they are now classed as rich. Okay, Tottenham. Their top goal scorer is Ali. Oh, wow. He's wanted by Chelsea. They haven't sold no one and they don't really haven't bought anyone. Which reminds me of Tottenham for real. That's that. We are halfway through the season. And by the looks of it, with them being what? 17 points clear and 18 points clear. I'm quite positive they're going to get promoted. Let's jump to the end of the season. So we have the end of the season. And Liverpool have won the league by one point. They lost the game. That could be against Tottenham. Yeah, they lost on the last day of the season against Tottenham. That's a bit harsh. It still didn't work out for Tottenham. Did they, like, did they drew the game before? That'd be horrible. No. The last draw was in February, so, yeah. So let's check the top goal scorers. Top goal scorers is Mane with 26. You would think it's more than that, but they didn't bring in anyone or didn't sell nobody in Jan. Tottenham... 37 goals. Wow. Okay, that, that's, that's brilliant. They sold Lorente and Sissoko. Decent money. And they've bought in <laughs> Chamberlain, who are released from Liverpool. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. How much is Ox laid on, actually? 10 grand. Not bad. So they're both promoted to League 2 now. Uh, I would expect them to get promoted again. So let's jump to December of the second season to see where our teams are. Right, so we're at the 31st of December. Liverpool are top by five points. And Tottenham... Oh, my chair. And Tottenham are second. Let's check signings. Liverpool have sold Gomez to Arsenal for 51 million. Mane to PSG for 66. Van Dijk to PSG for 33. Sturridge to Watford for 20. Alexander-Arnold to Arsenal for 41 million. To Tottenham. Origi to Tottenham as well. 
<laughs> so they've sold all them for 248 million. So money wise, they are they are doing fine. Have they bought in anyone decent? They've just been bought in like big well named championship players. No, they bought Lucas Moray from Tottenham. 19, 19 million, that's quite cheap. That's, to be fair, I think that's severely under undervalued since the goals he's been scoring. Yeah, let's have a look at Tottenham. Who they sold. Trippier has been sold. Rose has been sold. Dele Alli to Man U for 63 million. So they've both made well over 200 million and hardly bought in signings. So their finance, their financial situation is pretty secure. You know I mean, I can see both teams probably making it to the Prem at the same time. Let's jump to the end of the season. Right, so at the end of the season, Liverpool have won the league again without losing any games. Tottenham finished second. Eight points behind Liverpool. Top goal scorers, Moray was... Yeah, he finished top goal scorer. So let's have a look signing-wise. So anything in Jan we were looking for. So Ben Davis, they bought Victor Wanyama from Tottenham. They're just raiding Tottenham for their players. Um, and his sales, no. They're just raiding Tottenham for their players. Tottenham-wise, have they bought anyone in in Jan? One player in Jan. All that money, all this money here, and they buy one player, and they've lost all this. Oh, Tottenham, Tottenham, Tottenham. So, so far, Champions League wise, Liverpool and Tottenham are finding it hard towards, I don't know, so can we call this half time? Because we're two leagues away from the Premier League and we've just been promoted from two leagues. So, about, about half time. Liverpool and Tottenham are probably going to be drawing or somewhere near that. Let's check the end of the third season. So we're at the end of the third season and Liverpool have won again by six points. Again, without losing any games. That's probably because they, they blindly stole all Tottenham's players. So let's have a look at this. Top goal scorer again. Lucas Moura again. See, it's stole. Stole players off Tottenham. Liverpool signings this season. Uh, no one big. £9 million worth of signings. £63 million worth of sales. Who's gone? Any big ones. Look for the big sale. Here we go. Shakiri to Tottenham. Oh my... They're just buying off each other. Go to Tottenham. I've Tottenham signed players. They have actually signed players. Hats off to them for signing a player. Anyone major? £74 million worth of sales. Origi's... So he's at Liverpool. Joined Tottenham for £20.5 million. And now he's joined Leicester for £21 million. Who else has gone? Oxlade Chamberlain to Southampton. Because I kicked him out because he wasn't in a squad that played Barcelona. He spent two and a half seasons and then joined for £38 million. Both teams are in the championship. And this means we're heading near, I'd say, to full time now. And it's scraping through. Probably Liverpool 1-0 up by this stage. Let's jump to the end of the fourth season and see if any of them got promoted. Remember, if both do get promoted into the Premier League, I will do one more season. Whoever finishes higher is the winner. And that will be classed as an uh, extra time and penalty shootout. So we're at the end of the fourth season and we have Liverpool as champions again. Bristol City second. Tottenham third. But... Tottenham failed to win promotion. They failed in the playoffs. They lost in the semi-final, 3-2 to Middlesbrough. West Brom beat Palace, and then West Brom beat Middlesbrough. Champions League, the real one. Liverpool will win, I say, 1-0, 2-1, and it'll be a close fought game. Probably a goal near the end of full time, or... Maybe one goal at the beginning of the match and then like Tottenham score and then Liverpool score again or something like that. It's going to be a really close game because I finished now. Top Liverpool have got promoted four seasons in a row and Tottenham failed right at the end. They lost. I mean, let's have a look at the transfers. Any big ones gone. One player, Robertson to Man City, 34 million. 
No, it's just a load of small ones. Grassi for 8.25 million. Any big signings in? Yes. This is probably why they bought in Sanchez and they bought another Tottenham player. Oh, it was a Tottenham youth player. Did Tottenham bring in any signings or they sold quite a few players as well? Like they sold Sun. Who did they bring in? No one actually that decent. They're just small players. Bought him in. To be fair, who's pretty decent. That's decent as actually good for the, the league doing. Both teams are going to be rich. Yeah, rich, enjoying life. Tottenham, rich, loves the club. How about managers? They've still got the same managers because they might have left. Klopp is still in charge. Any big landmarks? No. Apart from winning the trophies, of course. Tottenham, Pochettino got sacked in Jan. He got sacked in Jan. And bought in Chris Hewton. Were they going through? A, were they going through like a a rough patch in Jan? Uh, let's have a look around. Uh, yeah, they last drew, last won, lost. I think that's when he got sat the ninth. Oh, but the last drew, uh, drew, last, last, last. Oh, they just converted two wins out of these, or even one win. They would have finished second. That's. I feel sorry for them, just just that little bit, because they, they, they lost out on it. Also, Daniel Levy leaves. Consortium took over and they upgraded their youth and training facilities. But there you go, that's it. Tottenham failed at the last minute and Liverpool won. So by football manager's prediction, Liverpool will win the Champions League. Yeah, so again, this is actually fun to do. If you do like it, please hit that like button, because then I know that you like it and I'd can do more don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and leave a comment below who you think is going to win the champions league and do you want any more of these i don't know something like that but anyway thanks for watching cheers